All in. Two miles to trip, our long distance race of the night. Wink Levy is one of the first to show. Pushed on to the lead with the mauve sleeves, but wider out, the yellow mini is also moving forward, and they are the first two to show, and it's the yellow mini who is going to show enough boot in the early stages to lead Wink Levy, who drops onto the leader's tail with a long way to go in this two-mile contest. Third is Cable Mountain in purple and yellow, ahead of Got Bright. Bassinet, having sat back in the field, is moving up rapidly up on the outside in the red colours to come and almost dispute the lead as they prepare to continue their progress. Uh, just behind them, we have Estrella Star, who settled towards the rear, and El Mejor is last of all as the runners continue their progress uh, out of the back straight. So out in the lead with a mile and a half to travel, the yellow mini, but Bassinet has moved right alongside and indeed is going to go on with things. Words exchanged between Joey Haynes and Mia Nichols, but she's going on on Bassinet to lead. So Bassinet it is who's out in front with about 10 furlongs to travel from this point. In second place is the yellow mini. In third is Got Bright. Fourth place for Wink Levy. In fifth place, we have Cable Mountain, then Estrella Star, and last of all is El Mejor. So up the home straight they head. And Bassinet invested quite a bit to get to the lead, but now is just being restrained. And as a result, those in pursuit begin to stack up. The yellow mini controls the front of the chasing pack. Wink Levy all of a sudden is right all over the back of the yellow mini. With Got Bright comes next. Estrella Star on the outside of Cable Mountain. And last of all is El Mejor. So out in the lead as they head out on their final circuit, it is Bassinet who has the advantage. The yellow mini in second place just slipping a little bit closer now. Wink Levy on the inside of Got Bright. And then behind these we have Cable Mountain. Estrella Star and El Mejor is still at the rear of the field. So they're approaching the final three quarters of a mile. Six and a half furlongs to travel from this point as they turn into the back straight. And Bassinet continues to show the way. The Yellow Mini in second. Wink Levy is still reefing and tearing right on the boot of the Yellow Mini, right on his tail, with Got Bright on the outside. Estrella Star comes next with Cable Mountain. And El Mejor, despite being the back marker, still travels comfortably enough. They're about six lengths first to last as Bassinet trying to preserve uh, some of that energy as the Yellow Mini is now driven along in second. Uh, Wink Levy, as a consequence, is just pocketed at the moment, Aidan Keeley, on the running rails with Got Bright on the outer. Uh, then behind these Estrella Star. So Bassinet still leads in second place, Got Bright. Now Wink Levy has room to operate as the front two just steal away here. In fourth place, Estrella Star. Then behind these Cable Mountain, El Mejor is still at the back. So Bassinet and Got Bright. These two have established a three to four length lead from in third place, Wink Levy, who's still trying to gather in the front two. And they've now moved a long way clear from Estrella Star. Well, Bassinet still giving plenty out in the lead and Got Bright is having to work hard. And pulled out towards the outside. Wink Levy is continuing to make progress, but just hanging slightly as Bassinet, held together by Mia Nichols, is trying to repel the challenges of Got Bright, and down the middle, Wink Levy, who continues to try and close. Bassinet over on the inside still has the advantage. Wink Levy is hanging towards the centre of the course and not helping the rider, and it's Bassinet for Mia Nichols, who won a week ago in the hands of her, giving her her first winner then. She's given the Great ride to win a second race of her career on Bassinet again for the Eden Racing Club. Wink Levy was second, Got Bright was third, El Mejor made progress past Estrella Star next to home. Well, Bassinet has followed up uh, the win from last week here at Chelmsford. It's a follow-up win for the winning jockey as well, Mia Nichols. You'll never forget Bassinet, Mia. No, he'll go down in my books for history anyway, so he will. He's some dude of a horse. You said the same last week, and he's he's been more impressive today with the way he's gone about. It was hard fought last week, but today, none of it. He's won well. Yeah, no, I definitely think the step up in trip helped, and I just put him to the front, let him do his own thing. But no, just thanks again to Eve and everyone back home who put the work in and let me have the spin on him because he's just a dream of a ride. And better out the stalls today and able to get your position a little bit more easy? Yeah, no, today's one of the best he's ever done because normally he's a bit hesitant, but today he was straight out there to the front, and he loves it. And you're getting that good support from Eve. She's given you the chances on this horse. He took a long time to win and now he's, he's backed up quickly. You'll be hoping to just keep on building those opportunities and rewarding the faith that Eve's putting in you. Yeah, no, definitely. She's been great to me with him. He's such a lovely horse. And back home, I ride different horses as well. And she's just great, honestly. And then George, who's my jockey coach, he's helping me loads. So, yeah, it's all going really well at the minute. Yeah, well, he was pleased back in the studio as well. Well done. Don't forget to weigh in. I will. Thank you very much. Thank you.